Welcome back guys and in today's video we shall discuss about value counts, count method and unique method in Python, especially in Pandas which is a Python library for data manipulation and analysis. So what you do is you will do it with the help of a data so I'll use this the data of planets data set we'll be working with. So launch a Jupyter notebook, open a new notebook and name it as planets data set. And what you do is you just uh, import seaborn because we will be importing it with seaborn, seaborn as SNS. And then what you do is you simply make an object called planets. And in that, what I'll do it, I will tell SNS dot load my data set. Right? What data set I want to load is planets so this has already been preloaded in data in seaborn library of python as we've already discussed and what i do is i will go and see the head top five entries and it's taking a little time let's see okay so you can see it here that it's telling us to wait and even here also so let me just give a heading and uh, we'll first see what our count what is a count method in count function in pandas and I'll convert it into a heading right so our data has been loaded and we see that we've got something like this our data frame which has rows and columns and before we proceed, let's just uh, see the shape of our data. And we will write here simply how to see it. Planets dot shape. And this is like 135 rows and 6 columns as you can see. Now, what is this count function in pandas? So it will, let's first do it and then explain it. Okay. So as we see that we've got columns. So if you just simply want to derive the columns, simply write here planets dot column or columns let's see yeah so we got this columns in a form of this array and we can see that we've got some six columns here now let's use this count function so how do I use it I will simply write this planet and which column I want suppose I want this number column what is this number so I'll just use this number and I'll use this function now which is dot count and I'll call this function and this tells me that there are 135 some 1035 entries in this number okay so I got the count of this number now what if I want to know what all numbers are there so I will just simply write planet and in this again I will go to this number column and I will write here unique all right because I want to know how many numbers are there so I have found I got it in a form of an array and this contains a list of like seven numbers so okay there are seven numbers in this column numbers okay and the count is like 135 so I can also infer that there are no null values because my shape is like 135 rows so all numbers are being filled in my data frame Another thing which I can infer from this is like, now I have another question that uh, how many one number values are there? How many two number values are there? So what I do is I use here the function called value count function, right? Value counts function in pandas. So what I do is again, simply just go to the data frame like planet and just write here number because I want to go to this column and I will use this function called value counts and just call this function okay and we got this value counts so what is this showing me this is showing me all the unique values with its count and you can see that this is coming in a decreasing order we get the most frequently occurring element at the topmost position and gradually it decreases and we see that number one has 595 
value comes. That means it is occurring 595 times in our data frame, followed by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. All right. And this is how we get, you know, count of unique values. Now, let's just revise it once again with another function, with another feature. And let's this time take, uh, suppose, year. Okay. Let's take year here. So we are experimenting with year. So again, do the same thing with this thing. So we'll take this planet and go to the column as year and just see count for this and call this function and you get that 135 count. Now another question if I want if I just interrupt this and I tell you that you're getting 100, 135 values in year. What about let's take another column and uh, take this orbital period. Okay. Let's take this orbital period and find its count. Okay. And let's see what do we get? Is it properly telling me all the values? Yes, see, it is giving me 992. That means few values are not being filled. That means they are missing values. All right. Okay. So now let's just go ahead with this function and do our revision. And we'll use here unique. Then I, because I want to check how many years are there. So I get the unique values of all the years. And I find that there's some list of some years like 1994, 2012, 13, 8. And you can see a list of so many years here. And I want to know the count of these years. So what I do is I simply go ahead and I just paste this here. And I write here valley counts. And we get the count of all these years. So 2011 has the most entries frequently occurring, like 185, and then followed by 2012. And we see that this is all is in decreasing order. And you can also count these years like it is from somewhere around 1992 here, right? And so on, it goes on, right? Till 2014, okay? So if you want to just find out the maximum year, minimum year, so what do you do? You just paste this dot min. You get 1989 is the minimum year which starts. And what about the maximum year it goes till? It goes till 2014. Okay, so these are the two extra functions which we have seen here, minimum and maximum. They are also known as aggregate function. Okay, more we'll explore later. Now, one more thing I want to show you is that you can plot this year data also okay just value counts is here for your reference let's just see how does this look in our plotting okay so what i do is i i used sns so i will use sns here and i will use the count plot here okay and here what i do is i will just paste this paste yes so let's see what happens Okay, plot. Yeah. So this has been plotting my data. Yes. So you can see here that this has been plotted on x axis here and count is here. Now, since you see that the year has so many values in it, it has become overlapping. And uh, we also see the count here. And if you want to infer this with each bar, you have the exact values with value counts, which you can infer, like 2011, 185. So now you have to figure out where is 2011 and 45. So you have to just count here 11, 12, 13, 14. So this is the highest here. And now to correct this defect, what you have to do is you have to set the rotation at the of the axis label x axis to a different rotation. And this we have covered in, in our previous lectures. So please go ahead and see that rotation video how to set this x x label. Right, so this was all about the functions in pandas, value counts, count function, and unique function. And how can we use it in our data analysis and visualization process. So, hope you like this video and uh, please share, comment, 